Well, good morning. Thank you all for being here. Uh, I will present um, some work that I'm in, in developing as a researcher and uh, as a teacher. Uh, I'm involved with uh, school in the borderline of Portugal with Spain. Uh, hello. Um, okay. And uh, I lecture um, urbanism there and theory of urbanism and theory of architecture. And uh, I'm trying to introduce uh, among the students some uh, of these issues that are present in this symposium. Some of them are here during these days and they will present their research uh, involving processing, uh, shape grammars, whatever. They will talk to them. The presentation is about a workshop that uh, happened last semester in the school. And uh, the workshop has um, two objects, two goals, sorry. Um, one goal was to try a methodology that I developed within my postdoctoral research that I um, did in the engineering faculty here in Oporto with uh, Professor Vitor Oliveira and uh, Isabel Pozzi. Isabel Pozzi is a professor from Lisbon. Um, they had different roles on the postdoctoral post supervising, um, uh, um, but they were both very important. And um, the the second goal was to deal with the issue that is now starting to be uh, very discussed uh, between the, the two municipalities, Goyen and Silvaya. And that's a new pedestrian bridge. So we tried to establish a relation between the academic world and the real world. And uh, uh, we use this plate mod, if, if, if you want, to involve the students in the community, Spanish, and Portuguese, from Surveyor and from Goyang. Bring people to the school uh, and bring some local technicals that work in the municipality to the workshop uh, to discuss this problem this new bridge, and where is it going to be? Uh, the discussion about the, the bridge wasn't about the, how the bridge looked like, the design. <coughs> that wasn't important for us. The important thing was to uh, know where it should be put this new bridge. And with this, try uh, to apply to survey then we have this um, methodology that I developed the earlier um, uh, in another city that was uh, um, the, the work is available on issues if you want to visit it and uh, maybe next year I don't know when uh, I hope until the uh, middle of the 2016, I will hope to publish the, the work. Well, this is um, a diagram that uh, I've been presenting in different situations um, that, uh, in a way, synthesizes the um, tracking methodology. Um, the tracking methodology as um, a goal, a very specific goal, that is to combine, to merge different morphological approaches 
and morphological approaches that are not only qualitative, empirical ones, but also quantitative. The idea is always to confront what we do, what, how we relate to space, and the uh, quantitative analysis of space. Uh, so, by bringing back these, these different sources of data, the data from empirical approaches, data from uh, quantitative uh, approaches, uh, we try to uh, answer the uh, very specific uh, entry points on the methodology. So, they are. Urban form is uh, conceived as the result of this um, interrelation between urban network, urban fabric, and urban activities. And why urban activities? Because urban activities are uh, what we want to relate with uh, space appropriation and uh, urban dynamics and the flux that are uh, present in the city by doing from one point to another, doing one thing and doing another thing. And uh, associated with this, with the space appropriation, we uh, explore the space perception that as we can see uh, yesterday and today, um, space perception, visibility, what I can see of space, what I can uh, realize of space is something or a very um, present, something that is on the table uh, for discussion. Uh, because perception is um, um, a very subjective, a very individual uh, point of view that we try to reach using the quantitative approaches. Then uh, we set uh, this uh, notion about relations in space and on space, between spaces, uh, with um, the different uh, kind of techniques and different kind of methods that I will show um, during this presentation. Um, articulated with space appropriation, we have space continuum and space patterns. Space continuum and space patterns are um, uh, ways to enter uh, urban form that they are very tested, there are a lot of theoretical approaches to it uh, and uh, is uh, what uh, establish the uh, indicators, the, the, the way to read the physical structure of space. So by tracing and tracking all these dynamic relations uh, between um, an urban network, urban activities and urban fabric, uh, we set this methodology that uh, we will try to demonstrate um, during this uh, presentation. Um, uh, this tracking, uh, uh, on tracking methodologies, we have, uh, as I said, these different kind of morphological approaches uh, based on qualitative and quantitative methods uh, and uh, um, trying to set this very uh, um, interdependent uh, nexus <coughs> between the different view fields that are uh, established uh, in it, within the, the methodology. Uh, relations between space con the continuum, space patterns, space appropriation, uh, that uh, also is related to the need to understand how space is dynamically used and or transformed. This is very important for me. And uh, here is where um, uh, my research focus uh, is um, influencing, is, is, is uh, helping to establish this methodology. I try to work on uh, the city of Maputo, that's my main goal of uh, uh, research. Um, and as you can imagine, uh, Maputo has different kind of um, uh, process that construct the city, uh, formal ones, informal ones, self-organization whatsoever. And so I uh, entered these um, formal methods uh, universe to, because I had some difficult in to uh, achieve um, a key reading for um, 
personality towards the self-organization, only doing empirical approaches. So I try to combine your empirical approach to self-organization and informality using uh, quantitative uh, approaches also. Um, uh, but the key, word, the, the key word is interdependence. Uh, I'm not interested in being an expert on uh, shape parameters or being an expert on uh, processing, being an uh, expert on space syntax or, uh, or social methodologies. I'm uh, interested in uh, take the, the best of all of the kind of approaches and uh, case by case uh, use uh, the, the relations that I think uh, uh, establish between these different morphological uh, approaches. And uh, um, these configurational uh, and relation, uh, relational logics uh, that are uh, always present in the process of the analysis. Um, so um, this is why uh, we reached the, the theory of sociological space. Uh, with this combination of configurational approaches with, within the, the tracking methodology, uh, as I uh, said earlier. So, this is where we start. I'm not really interested in what people think about or tell about space. I'm really, really, really interested about what people do and how they do in space. You may say that what people think about and tell about space is what they do and what they um, and how they act, how they appropriate space. Well, I can say probably most of the time yes, but sometimes no. So uh, it's not about what people think or tell about it. It's about how and what people do. It. So I want to know what people do and how they react and uh, establish their relations with space. Um, methods like uh, interviews, like field work, probably they are not enough. So I need to uh, integrate uh, another kind of um, approach that help me to understand how people interact and how people appropriate space, how people are in space, how people uh, uh, deal with space. So, um, for that, I use, uh, in this case, um, different approaches. One of them is the, this one, uh, based on the, the axial and segment maps to compare topological and metric measurements. And then study of isobistics properties, also using the death map software. Um, so, in order to deal with this perception of structures and patterns of the urban form, uh, I set a locative approach to, uh, related to these um, citizens' uh, relation to space and how they are in space and what they do in space. And the, uh, and the, 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 the transitional perspective that I want to set on this um, uh, relation. How people are in space, how people leave, leave the space whatsoever. So the result turns out in specially dynamic method and dynamic uh, um, cryptographies using software such as CapoDB and others available. Uh, the dynamic mappings are relevant to tracking methodology. It, 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 it's able to combine with morphological approaches. This is something that we are uh, trying to um, um, get into uh, to, to, to see how uh, traditional morphological approaches uh, can uh, be incorporated with uh, these new uh, dynamic mappings that are now available due to the use of smartphones uh, and digital applications that are on our um, mobile and we all have it. Uh, this is just an example. Um, tracking methodology presents a more topological than typological bias resulting from the uh, local tip component that I uh, explained earlier. Um, and we consider that it's important to track spatial experience in urban dynamics according uh, to what's happened uh, within the, the spice. 
um, mapping uh, the visibility, the representation uh, of that transformation and the elements that structure the use and the activities of space that occur in space. So, the purpose of visibility is giving the, the notion uh, of uh, um, existen existential dimension that should be framed uh, to the uh, more formal process of um, planning. So this is where uh, we try to reach our um, theoretical approach. And that is to say, uh, if instead of urban form, we could think about urban dynamic form. So we are not only looking at the physical structure of the space, we are kind of uh, conceiving that physical structure of the space as a very elastic one in order to understand the dynamics that also structure it. So the physical uh, structure of the space is not something tight, it's something that could be um, very liquid if you want. Um, and um, as uh, the main indicators we have the search for spaces with integrated dynamics and axes with connected flutes that will um, frame the mapping uh, uh, process that we will see uh, in a while. So, what kind of outputs can we extract from this uh, theoretical framework and from the tracking methodology? Well, we can map dynamics, uh, we can track space appropriation within, based on the traditional cryptography, we can measure integration and connectivity, we can track, we can trace collaborative maps. So, um, because uh, in this process, or within this process, we can have um, personal notes that everyone could do or can do about the old space, particular part of the space whatsoever. And to track dynamic maps, uh, this is um, uh, a result of another approach that was used on the workshop that is being developing by Tiago, who is there. Tiago was also one of the um, collaborators of the workshop. And uh, this is uh, the final and most important output uh, to, from the, from the track method methodology. Uh, I, I, I think it's very interesting all the research about augmented reality. We are trying to produce augmented cryptographies. Augmented cryptographies is something that will merge um, data from uh, uh, formal uh, risk, uh, um, uh, sources of data and uh, informal sources of data. Uh, formal sources of data are statistic ones, um, all the things that you can from the administrative uh, uh, and institutional uh, ones. And the uh, uh, informal one, what we call it informal or, or self-organized, is the one that we can get from people, from people that is available to work with us and to participate in this process. Um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very subjective perspective. It's a very um, questionable uh, point of view because uh, uh, science and theoretical approaches uh, usually try to um, remove from the equation these subjective um, um, approaches. Uh, but I think it's uh, uh, important to try to understand how they can be combined and bring them to the um, equation again. So this is was this was the workshop that we did with this kind of uh, approaches, uh, collaborative mappings, uh, um, and uh, Anna Liu is one of the, it was another coordinator of the workshop, she, she established this uh, participative process in the urban planning and uh, the dynamics of spatial appropriation and urban flux 
and then the graphic using interface and social behavior simulation that was developed that is being uh, the motive, the, the goal of the research of Tiago. This is Guyane in Cerberus. Guyane is uh, there, Cerberus is on the, on the right. The Mini River, this side in Portugal, that side is Spain. Um, as you can see, two very small villages from the borderline with a bridge there. Ponta uh, uh, is uh, a bridge that uh, established um, the uh, main connections between uh, one side and the other of the, of the, of the river. And then the, the two municipalities are thinking about another, another bridge. So where? Where? And our video. This video shows, I hope. No. You might have to that. The link on the note. The note. Uh, so, 
we can add that information that it's very fueled, it's, it's a very locative information uh, and not only uh, from the past but also from what people think about the space. And why is this important for us? Yesterday, Joaquin asked Miguel Serra uh, a very important question. How can we relate formal methods like space syntax, processing, shape grammars, whatsoever? But in that case, space syntax, that was the question that Joaquin Flores asked to Miguel. How can we merge that with all the other things that designing architecture has also? Colors, textures, materials, space. In this way, we are integrating all of that things that already exist in space and that people respond to it. So, when we see this, it's not just reds and blues and yellows and orange. This, combined with that tracking process, has also in it the perception and the qualities of space. That's what we want to add to this kind of approach. It's the qualities of space. We are not only working with the physical structure of the space, we are also trying to embody in this process the qualities of space. And how can we do it? It's not the, it, it's not the, the qualities that I point to the space, it's the qualities that result from the perception of all that are involved in the process. So, if you all comment about one space from point A to point B, I will have that data to work. And that is data that is not only about the, 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 the physical structure of space, it's about what you thought about the, 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 the space. And more important than what you, I, you thought about, it's what you did there. If you tell me that you love the space in the comment, in the remark, and you've been there three seconds, mm, if you say you love the space, you've been there ten minutes, mm, okay, I can believe it. You understand why I said it's not about what you say about the space, it's what about you do on the space. So if you spend there half an hour looking at the sea, and you say, what a lovely sunset, and your uh, tracking uh, pass, your bubble there, very large bubble. Yeah, I believe that that comment. If you say it for a lovely sunset, your bubble is very small, so probably the sunset is not so important for you. So this is the, the things that we are trying to embody in this formal method uh, approach that uh, also need these kind of things, obviously but that we are trying to um, increase uh, in terms of the nature of the data. It's not only um, data about numbers, it's data about uh, qualities also. Again, this is way in subject. In the end, on the debate, you can kill me about it. I expect me, okay? But, um, uh, we'll talk about it later. So, um, to finish, um, uh, the next slides are uh, several um, uh, maps that we produce using that map, the death space, uh, death map, sorry, I'm thinking about uh, frankly, um, uh, measuring integra integration and uh, connectivity uh, with three uh, simulations. Point the bridge in point A, bridge in point B, bridge in point C. You ask me, okay, what's point A? Point A is the bridge in the place where everybody told us that the logical place that would be the shorter uh, distance between one side of the river and the other side of the river. In the beginning of the process, when we asked the people where the bridge should be, everybody said the smallest. Um, part, uh, the smallest distance between uh, one side and the other side. 
Okay, so let's try it. This is how the 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 reality is now with the with the the other existing bridge. Uh, this is local integration. You, you can see that the local integration, the bridge, uh, the existing bridge is not that important. Um, that red line is there is the space in the survival where the best restaurants are. So if you want to go there, I should uh, recommend some restaurants. So we we try to the best place that people told us that will be the shorter one between the two uh, sides of the river. Well, the results were not that uh, fascinating. This is global integration and this is local integration. Well, what, why, why do we think that this is not uh, an amazing result? Because Surveyor already had a real park that is really used by Portuguese and mainly by Spanish. But we can, we can find more Spanish in Surveyor there than Portuguese. And you say, well, that's good. And I say, of course that's good. But for the Spanish municipality, that's not good. Why? Because they invest a lot of money in a very good river park there that it's empty. So they think about why our park is empty and why Surveyor River Park is full of people. Well, because the Guayan structure, as you can see, this is the second one. Uh, I'll show you the first one. The Guayan structure um, with that uh, cross axis there and the, uh, the the village start to grow with, with this uh, direction, but it's focused there. And survive, as you can see, it's uh, very close to the uh, river park, so uh, that's the, the main difference for now. And what we are trying is to get that uh, integration near the river. So we try another one. This is a, a second position. Again, again with integration, the global integration, you can see how rats are getting more close to uh, the river. But when you look at uh, this is local integration, local integration, uh, the difference is not uh, so important like that. But when you look to uh, in global integration in position number three, uh, number three, uh, we have a real different result. So, you can ask me the criteria to put the bridge here or to put the bridge there. Here you understood because it was the smallest the difference between both parts of the, the river, the, 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 the margins, the banks. Here is because there's um, uh, already created infrastructure. There's a road there. There's a road here and there's a road there. So it was uh, just to connect existing roads. And the third one, the third one, there's no road here, but there's something very important here and here. Uh, that is Let's this point down. The, there was a boat here. Here. It's, there's a pier here and a pier there. And uh, there was a boat that uh, established the connection between the Goya and Surveyor, the people from one side and people from another side with cars. Uh, and uh, that boat don't exist anymore, but the piers were there. So. For the third option, we thought about why could it be interesting to put the new bridge connecting this pier, this two pier. So th this was the criteria to establish the three positions. Well, in this one, um, we have what we intend to do, that is to attract 
the uh, red lines from uh, Goya near to uh, the uh, riverfront. If you see local integration from the three options, the most relevant is also the third one. And most of all, when you see the connectivity measurement, you will also see that the third one is the, the right one. So this is uh, local integration of the third hypothesis. And then another exercise that we did, Synergy combines uh, global integration with local integration. I will ex explain that. And um, connectivity. Connectivity was also uh, a measure, important measure for us. Uh, we also tried, and the result is also the the one that is pointed as the third option. Um, the uh, the 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 Mayer, the lady Mayer of of Korea of. Uh, Mourinho, uh, she's very interested in this study because um, she lives here and uh, she, uh, her technical staff is uh, recommending her to do the bridge here because due to the economic uh, reasons because it's, the, it's Shotland so they say you will spend less money doing the bridge blah, blah, blah. But she uh, has lives here. So the, the perception that she has from the space is that the bridge between <coughs> here is way too um, uh, high. It's way too high. It, it's not part of the uh, um, space. It's not part. It's not integrated in this perception of the space. So people uh, don't be aware that that, that, that uh, the bridge is there. And uh, she also uh, thinks that. We shouldn't be here. So we are now uh, collaborating with the municipality to um, get this uh, uh, job a little more um, supported. This was an academic exercise. The 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 range of the Excel map is very short. It is, this should be uh, quite bigger, but this was a. Uh, four days exercise so we have to narrow the, the range of the the, the, map, the Excel map otherwise we would be four days just doing the Excel map but uh, uh, we are trying to help her to think about uh, this situation in uh, other terms these are the two other uh, coordinators of the workshop Maria Rio she's a Spanish girl and Isabel uh, she's doing a um, PhD on media digital art. All the approaches from the uh, tracking devices is her collaboration. And uh, Tiago is the one who's doing the processing scene that was on the video that I didn't show you, but he will show you on his presentation. And thank you, and that's it. <laughs>